Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Libra. Now you can have Libra anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart, baby. And Libra, this message may resonate with you. Maybe just a piece or all of it. What does it? Send it to the universe. Let it be for somebody else. So as I was shuffling and meditating on your energy, Libra, some of you guys are about to be celebrating big time. I'm hearing big time. Some of you guys are going to be celebrating big time. It's like you're discovering your spiritual gifts. So let's see what energy you're on. And it says, milk of chocolate, higher learning. Man, these cards don't lie. And I don't know how to pronounce this fucker's name, but look at this card right here. Look, you're about to discover some of your spiritual gifts. I'm hearing unlock your spiritual gifts. And it says higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. So, yes. Some of you guys are stepping on that stage for some of you guys. Look at this higher learning. These spiritual gifts, you, you unlocking them. And I'm here to stay focused. Stay focused and be patient. They want you to have this card too. It says divine healing. Heal her on you. It says, honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. So some of you guys, oh my God, oh, you guys are going to trip out. Look at this. Some of you guys are needing to heal that heart chakra. You guys are going to be teaching higher learning. And look, right behind it was Mary Magdalene. Teacher awakens. So some of you guys... This gift, spiritual gift is what I keep hearing loud and clear, is being passed down from your ancestors. You have been chosen. Libra, you have been chosen. It says you have something important to share. Follow your inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Well, with this, I'm hearing with this powerful moon cycle that we had in Gemini which is, I believe, the Civic Sagittarius moon, you are closing out some karmic cycles. And I'm hearing you are closing them out with love. They want me to show you this as, a, as I say. It. You're closing them out with love. And that's something that you're going to be teaching many people. Because a lot of people, oof, we could be bitter. We could be like, a la chingada, chingues, you know what I'm saying? And... And that means in, in English, fuck that motherfucker. But Spirit God wants you to understand that you have elevated. Some of you guys have ascended. Some of you guys are feeling that ascension and you're understanding like, yeah, I got to release this shit with love. Yeah, because I want to reap what I sow, baby. Some of you guys are talking to yourself that way. And Mary Magdalene is coming in to teach you. And maybe you are about to gain clarity through this reading that your potential lies within you sharing your story on how you overcame these damn difficulties. Because some of you guys are like, this motherfucking shit was hard. Yes, but you overcame them. And you didn't die, is what I heard. My dog's sitting over here next to me. He's like, yeah, you didn't die. And I'm, he and I'm hearing you... You are very powerful. I don't know who it's going to resonate with, but you are very powerful. And your ancestors are so freaking proud of you. Because a lot of you guys, you don't even realize the power and the, oh my God, and the gift. How you unlock this gift because some of you guys set your ancestors free. And they're proud of you, man, baby. You're breaking curses. I'm hearing you are the chosen one, baby. And you already know you're the chosen one. Put it in the comments. I am the chosen one. But your ancestors are proud because you are freeing them. Wow. And I'm hearing expect miracles, baby. <laughs> they want you to expect some big miracles. Look at this. You have the sword of truth. Libra. You are justice in the tarot. 
like you balance out the scale. You ain't afraid to talk shit and say the truth. You have this bird right here. It's like you have purity. You know, if you could be in your negative side and your karmic energy, yes, you'll go off, man. Shit, people will run from you. But when you're in your divine, in your, your, your divine energy, look at you. You still speak the truth. You have wisdom, knowledge is what I'm hearing. And God wants you to speak up. They want me to show you this again. God, the universe wants you to speak up. I'm hearing they're trusting you with this sort of truth, man or female. Tara has no gender. So your voice, voice your truth. Share your testimony. Again, this card, they want me to show you. Look at the bottom, take a snap picture, and it says right there, don't let anything stop you. Follow the inner call. I'm hearing voice your truth. It's going to bring you freedom. This fire sign keeps coming up. Some of you guys are dealing with the fire sign, or this is you stepping into this fire energy. Look at look at very closely. Look at the angels that you have. Yes, they're dragons, but angels come in any forms. But look at all that passion. And you got the magic stick, baby. You have the ability to inspire and motivate people. It's like the universe is co-creating with you. And you're about to turn your pain into power. I'm hearing you're an alchemist. Look at this. You might have Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with the Pisces. Or this is you just embodying this energy of the high priestess. I'm hearing you're about to turn your pain into power. Yes, and I'm hearing with this wand right here, you're going to be whooping the devil's ass, the enemy. Hey, they came for you and all this right here, but you know what? Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe. Yeah, look at this. The devil might have came for you, might have took all these things. And I'm hearing like the, like, the, like the story of Job. You kept focus on God, the universe, trusting no matter what they took or the enemy took. You still trusted in God. Through your heart and pain. And that's why they said your pain is, is about to turn into power. <laughs> With so much love, look, and compassion. You are the alchemist. And by you doing this love and turning that pain into power, look at this blessing that's coming to you. Yes, indeed. I'm hearing. I'm hearing it's your time to shine, baby. Yes, it's you've been sitting on the fence right here. Look, mm, playing with some bozos in the circus. It's no more, baby. It's no more. Yes, you've been heartbroken. Yes, that motherfucker might have hurt you. But look, the universe wants you to close this cycle, wants you to learn this lesson. Because I'm here, you're closing these karmic lessons with love. Look, even though they hurt you still, you're closing them out with love. And for some of you guys, spirit, the universe wants you to let go of these burdens when it comes to love. They want you to let it go. Look at this. On your knees, like, what am I going to do? Take that shit and throw it away. What no longer resonates with you. Look at that. One, one, one. Some of you guys are seeing the synchronicity. But they want me to say. they, <laughs> If you were feeling like this in love. They don't want you to force any relationship. Libra, they don't want you to force any relationship. And when I say they, your ancestors are included. They seen the bullshit that you went through. And the universe, the universe is sitting back and seeing if you've learned these lessons. I'm here in Deuteronomy. I'm here in Deuteronomy 31.8. Trust it. I'm here and trust it. Some of you guys need to research that. And for a lot of you guys that are looking for clarity and wondering, why does this spouse, this lover, this family member, whatever it may be, however it may resonate with you, leave? I'm hearing they didn't leave you. They did not leave you. God removed them from you, the universe. They said, it was time already. It was time. Some of you guys had to leave a home. 
though it might have looked like they kicked you out, I'm hearing God removed you. And it had to be in a, in a hard, hard, a harsh way, I guess. Because you were settling. And they don't want you to force any relationship. This particular person didn't value you. And you would have not stepped into your purpose. And look at this. I can show you real quick, Libra. Because look, you stepped into your purpose when God removed you from this particular person. Because you y'all y'all were settling is what I'm hearing. Y'all were like hmm, complacent or just settling. But it, they, this particular move that when God removed you, it pushed you into this energy of the star. Some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius. I mean, you took your power back. And for a lot of you guys, you had somebody that was body shaming you that just wasn't giving you that confidence. That wasn't uplifting you. That wasn't motivating you. This You might have been dealing with somebody that was just trying to hold you back. Projecting is what I'm hearing. They didn't want you to <laughs> succeed. And that's some bullshit. Because if it was coming from your partner, even if it was coming from anybody that you cared, it is some bullshit. Put it in the comments. That's a bunch of bullshit. That past people were bullshit. But see, God removed you. Removed you so you can step into your purpose. And I'm hearing again, it's your time to shine, baby. It's your time to shine, period. They would have not supported you. I keep hearing that. They would not have supported you. And they just wanted to take this particular person. If it was a spouse, oh my God. They was a taker. These cards don't lie. Look at this. They was a taker. It was a taker. Look at this. But I'm hearing again, you're about to celebrate big time. Look at the bottom of the deck right here. Also, this King of Cups. You may be dealing with the water sign that is coming towards you. And this particular water sign, Libra, has been through the same BS that you probably went through. Similar, they're saying. Similar. And has special gifts. Spiritual gifts. But Libra... They've been, they've been guided, and you have been too, through these choppy weathers, through these situations. But look, you have God on your side, baby. You have God guiding you through there. And look at you confronting all your situations, knowing that God is behind you. I'm here in Deuteronomy 31.8. Look at this. And you stand it in this energy of going after what you want. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. And I'm here, God placed you in this situation to open your eyes. For some of you guys, this had to happen. You were settling. So God placed you in this situation with all these road bumps. Look at this. It's like, this is enough, Libra. Ah, salte de fuera del pinche cuarto de la casa. Get out of the house. Get out of this situation. I got something better for you. And he blew the trumpet. He goes, I'm about to give you everything you want. Claim this energy. Are you open to receive everything that God is about to give to give to you? Some of you guys are still in doubt, but it's your time to shine because look what's coming towards you. Oh my God. And I'm hearing <laughs> when this particular person was, was rejecting you, ignoring you, slandering your name, just doing the most, and God, the universe removed you, they also were being tested. They failed big time. Could have been a fire sign is what I'm hearing. But somebody with fire in their chart. Your light is powerful. Powerful, I'm hearing. Your energy, your light is powerful. Yes, you could be dealing with the Leo, I'm hearing, or somebody with Leo in the chart. But your light is powerful. And they want you to focus on your purpose. Love is coming. Because some of you guys, when is love going to come to me? Why is love not coming to me? It's coming. It's coming. They want me to switch decks. Love is coming. We're going to go to this one right here. The magical. And I've been guided to see that. Look, the first card that comes out. Love is coming. 
trust, baby. Who's born on the first? They want you to say this right here. They want you to say this affirmation. Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. Look at this. They don't want you to believe. They want you to trust that it is coming, but you got to heal. And I kept hearing miracles. Big miracles are coming your way. So you have number one. And this love is divinely guided. Look at this. Some of you guys are going to feel like you're floating on the air, like running to each other. Like ay, ay, ay. your heart just pounding like this. Damn, that's a lot of love, Libra. You're going to make a lot of people jealous. Mm -hmm. I just can't get enough. I keep hearing that song. <laughs> oh, from Depeche Mode. I just can't get enough. Somebody had that in my reading. All right, in love. What do we have in love for Libra? For, I was about to say January. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. Damn, Libra. For June, for Gemini season. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody that has a card that is messy as hell, or this might be you. Clean that motherfucker out, or tell somebody to clean their car out. Some, somebody you guys drive with, and it's kind of like, damn. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into it. In love, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and hit the like button. Share, subscribe, baby. In love, yes, there's big passion coming towards you. And this might be a 1111. I keep hearing a twin flame connection, a divine connection. Why? Because you you let go of the past and your past is pissed off because you let them go because you stayed obedient and you're moving forward. So you understood the assignment. Some of you guys are born on the 11th and some of you guys are born on the 28th. But see, when I said you obeyed God, the universe, it's you let them go. They thought they... They rejected you, but it was God that actually removed you. And it says, rise passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. And look at this. It's almost like two earth angels coming together, baby. Oh, Lord. Yes, somebody's cheeks turn rosy or something I'm hearing. Or maybe somebody's named Rosie. I don't know. But the number seven is going to be significant. Some of you guys are born on the seven, Libra. And wisdom. The universe is telling you that you're about to be tested with these options. But they want you to go within and use your intuition and your discernment. You're going to know who's the one for you. It may be on a Wednesday. It says, on a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. So maybe you'll have a, a, a aha moment or something like that. But you have knowledge. And some of you guys, when they say you have a powerful purpose, I mean, you guys are powerful. It's because you have knowledge on how to overcome these difficulties. And your ancestors are right behind you. Look. There's a card. There's a card. There's a book right here, a book of knowledge. And look, they're pouring it in. You're going to be, you know, I want this. Whew. In love, we see passion, wisdom, and knowledge and love. They just want me to get it like this. In love, it's safe travel. This particular person is going to feel safe to you. Look at this going to be able to communicate with you master 22 could be 22 years old or born on the 22nd look at you it's going to be powerful safe travel some of you guys are going to travel with this particular person and even though it might be rocky or choppy this is just your imagination your thought they want you to clear that and even through the toughest times this person is going to make you feel safe is what i'm hearing the communication because the throat tracker, this person is going to tell you no matter what we're going through, baby, we're going to make it. And that's what I'm hearing. This person is going to give you this confidence. It says, keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. See, no matter how far they go, you're going to have a lot of confidence in this particular person. You're going to know he's the one or she's the one. It's going to bring you a lot of confidence. 32s. Some of you guys um, are 32 years old, or I'm here, life path number five. 
confidence by the earth, air, water, and fire. Let me, let my confidence take light, burn higher. So see, no matter where they go, how far they go, this particular person is going to bring you this, this grace, this love, this unity. So you guys born on the 20th, it says grace, grace, blessings come to me, come to me and set me free. This particular person is going to set you free. Big time. 2022 caught my eye on the clock, baby. Look at that angel number. Google it. It's going to bring you some confirmation. I'm hearing divine timing, baby. Trust in it. When you least expect it, the divine connection is coming in. So let's see in career. What do we have in career? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button. Share, subscribe, baby. Help my channel grow. And comment, baby. If you're about to celebrate, maybe you have been celebrating already. Hmm. Let's see. All right. In six, in career. Some of you guys have in career. Look at success, baby. In career, there's about to be a major victory. Some of you guys are 35 or three and five equal eight, a life path eight. So if you're a life path eight, take care of your thoughts. You're infinite. If you turn it around, look at this. What you put out, you bring back. You have victory. And they want you to say this. I shall celebrate and I shall rise. And I will let victory make me wise. And I said it earlier. You're about to celebrate. And this victory that some people have been trying to stop for some of you guys. It could have been a past. A jealous sibling, I'm hearing. Don't worry. They could have been sending black magic, doing bad energy work or whatever, sending you that stuff. But you have psychic protection. They know you're connected. And they wanted to ruin that connection. But look at this. Sending you all that evil lie and all that. But look, you're protected. It says, around me now a shield of gold. Protect me strong and bold. And that's, look, your crown chakra. You're, you're protected. All right, they want me to use the different cards. Libra, hit the like button. Share, subscribe. If you might have had a partner that might have just left you and just left you to just walk on your own or have somebody else take you, that ain't the one for you. Mm -mm. Nobody would have done that to you if they truly love you. Somebody needed to hear that, Libra. But you're about to celebrate as soon as you surrender, baby. Some of you guys need to surrender. You have gifts, spiritual gifts, baby. Be open to receive. They want you to meditate. And some of you guys are saying, well, how do I don't see my spiritual gifts. Well, are you meditating? Are you praying? Are you fasting? You have gifts. And the way you close cycles, you're going to change the world. It says right here, stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of divine intervention. So, oh my God, I heard earlier. Don't force any relationship. Look at this. Passion. Libra, you're a passionate lover, baby. Put it in the comments if this is you. You on fire. And look, it takes little action for a little bit of action for you to get this passion. For some of you guys, you guys are being led to new, new love, new passion. It says right here, passion. It says, light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. What are you desiring? Are you desiring true love? True love, passion, baby. Take action towards your desires. Libra, some of you guys are holding back is what I'm hearing when it comes to love. It's almost like the divine has already pointed out, this is your person. Or maybe your person of interest is not taking action, but they soon will. It says baby steps are still steps and they're better than standing still. Some of you guys, the patient, man, you're calling them in. And when I said you have, you have spiritual gifts, is you know how to give and call in. I'm hearing the law of attraction. Little by little, you're attracting the person that's supposed to be in your life. Yes. And look at this card. They want me to show you this card. It says true security comes from having a reserve of time, space, energy, personal power, and love. 
make deposits in all these accounts and you'll be a wealthy person indeed. And why this caught my attention? Why did the universe send me, you know, put this card right here for you? Because look, you're attracting love. It says love, personal power, energy, space, and time. You are becoming a great manifester, an alchemist. You have the spiritual gift of calling in what you want. But you had to learn to release, to release the BS persons or situations from your past. That's what I'm hearing, Libra. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Help my channel grow and comment if this is you with this passion and love. Some of you guys in career, there's something that you're doing different. Or maybe in the same career, but you're doing something different. And it's, it's bringing this passion within you and it's attracting abundance. So put it in the comments if this is you. Let's see, what do we have for a spiritual as fuck? Message for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, baby, and comment if this is you. If this is your energy. All right, Libra. They want me to get, look, I want like this. Okay, this one. It says right here, you are a product of what you believe. Yes, indeed. And they put it in green. Open up that heart chakra. Don't let nobody close it out. It says, if you think you're a turd, you're probably going to act like a turd. Treat yourself like a turd and accept turd treatment from others. Why the fuck would you do that? First of, first off, you're not a turd. It's just physically impossible to be a turd and a sensual being at the same time. But even if you have been kind of turdy, you believe in your golden will bring on all that golden behavior and that golden treatment. Today, just believe you're golden. If you like it better there, go back to Turd Town tomorrow. So I don't know who had to hear this, but surrender. They want me to show you this card. Surrender, baby. Surrender. And this card is showing, be a badass love beam today. They want me to read it to you. It says, that's right. Today is your job to fill every room you go into with laser beams of love. If you can't do laser beams, then make your heart a bubble machine and fill the room with bubbles. If that doesn't work for you, then you should bring donuts to work. Donuts make almost everyone happy. Go forth with your mission. Grasshopper. Look at this. Somebody needed to hear it. Be a badass. Love being today. So Libra, hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment if this is your energy. Infinite Tarot 888.